you have to be part of the network, you have to dive into the network, you have to, you know, network a lot. And this is generally something that Europeans, you know, didn't grow up with, so they don't really know how to do that. We had um, pretty big successes in the last three years, um, some of them being actually a couple millions. We had one round now of one of our companies, Signavio, alumni company that raised 34 million dollars. And we also had an alumni company, Celones, that raised 27 million dollars just the, uh, earlier this year. We were very excited to host the European Internet Forum and uh, what a great delegation. Uh, got a chance to visit with them today. And I think one of the key messages we we're uh, sharing with that uh, group today is how Yelp exists to empower and protect consumers. It's a great virtuous cycle that allows consumers to uh, find great local businesses and it's, uh, we think it's really important for the offline economy. Okay, well in Silicon Valley we started here a long time ago, like 15 years ago, as a sort of research and development organization and we evolved over the years to a role that is more business innovation. We are sourcing products and technology for Orange and its customers, both consumer and enterprise. And we're also looking at uh, investing in uh, interesting startups. We, we recently invested in four startups in California uh, because we think they're also leading the way in some uh, uh, areas where uh, we believe uh, they are faster than we are. The world in Europe looks right now like a traffic jam uh, and it moves like we're sitting all in a parking spot, right? It's just not moving. And by, by reducing car ownership, um, we can actually free up our cities, reduce CO2 emissions and have just greener cities where people can get from A to B much faster. Uh, Europe is very strong here in the Bay Area, in the Silicon Valley area. I mean, Europe is present. There's a lot of European innovators around. There's a lot of European knowledge that's here. But one of the things that's missing is that the, the, the European dimension is not too visible. It's very fragmented. Startups deserve a chance to have their voice heard in the discussion. They deserve a seat at the table. And what I think is so important about this group being here in Silicon Valley is that all of them really genuinely do care about that. They are working to foster innovation. They do want to create opportunities for entrepreneurs. And I see that and I think there's really a future in the EIF and the EU40 and for Europe to continue to grow as a hub for entrepreneurship and innovation. Startups and all other types of businesses are fundamentally different. Whether you're talking about large global enterprises or small and medium enterprises, the SMEs that everybody focuses on, those businesses are all about perpetuating the status quo. What are startups about? They're about experimenting until they create a new reality, a new business model, a new product market fit. And to make that happen, they fail all the time because they try things that people haven't done before. Here in Silicon Valley, where everyone's visiting, we fail a lot. We know eight out of 10 startups fail. And we allow our entrepreneurs to pick themselves up, take their learnings, and then move on to the next. And in fact, I wrote a book about exactly that. It's called The Other F Word, and that F Word that I refer to as failure.